Hi guys! Today I'm going to be unboxing the Dragon Oracle cards by Diana Cooper. Um, I don't follow Diana Cooper that closely, but I'm intrigued by some of the things that she does. She's most well known for her work with angels and unicorns and dragons, of course, and Atlantis. And the artwork is by Carla Lee Morrow who is apparently known as the Dragon Lady for her pencil and watercolour art of dragons. So I'm quite keen to see what they have in store. It's published by Hay House. Cool, so I haven't seen all of the cards. I watched an unboxing on the New Age Hipster channel. So I've seen many but not all of the cards and they really spoke to me. Um, I. I don't see dragons often, but I have encountered them a number of times in my wanderings and I've always found their energy quite quite lovely. Uh, strong, but wise, and at least the ones I've met so far. So I'd be quite keen to see what these are all about. So here we go. So it's the usual kind of hair house style box. It's quite nicely, orangey in the middle. The book. Uh, oh, let me just read the bit of the back. Dragons are wi a beautiful, wise, op open. <laughs> let me start again. Dragons are beautiful, wise, open-hearted, etheric beings of the angelic realms who are sent here by Source to help and assist us. Their guidance can help us clear lower energies, flow around challenging situations, and inspire us in our life visions. The 44 cards in this beautiful and unique deck will offer you advice about your daily life, your soul mission, and how you can serve the planet. Sounds good. The dragons are waiting for you to connect with them so they can assist you on your spiritual path. And then just has a little bit about Diana Cooper and Carla Lee Morrow artist. Right, then there's a book inside um, and the cards. Um, this guidebook shows you how to conduct your own readings with the deck and reveals in-depth meaning of each of its 44 cards. It explains the different types of dragons, earth, air, fire and water, and their unique roles and energies. You will soon develop your own relationship with the deck and find a personal way of connecting to the dragon frequencies. The messages in these cards can offer new perspectives on themes that are central to your life. Allow the dragons to inspire and guide you. And there's a little bit about Diana Cooper at the back as well. Cool, so it's a, <clears throat> let's see, about 117 pages. And it starts with obviously intro. And then um, there's a table of contents with all the different types of dragons. There's fourth dimensional dragons, fifth dimensional dragons, seventh dimensional dragons, and ninth dimensional dragons. The names are pretty cool. Um, right, in the beginning, intro, what are dragons? What do they look like? How can they help us? Do we have a personal dragon? And then other stuff explains the different frequencies fourth dimensional fifth dimensional seventh dimensional ninth dimensional and then a bit about how to use your cards uh, they have a one card spread a three card spread seven card spread and then they go into the interpretations starting with the fourth dimensional dragons and yeah, so then they have basically two pages, including a little picture about the dragons, about them, and then guidance. And there's also keywords, which will be on the card as well. So name the dragon, keywords, and then a kind of a short phrase, I suppose a key phrase, 
and then the more detail and that goes through four of the others as well guidance etc etc and then yeah and then a little bit about the artist at the back and a little bit about the author so that's pretty cool right to the cards so the back of that is also orange quite a vibrant color and these are the backs let's go yeah. let's get this thing off there we go that's pretty cool I like the pink that's kind of unusual we have these very strong ideas about dragon colors but that's a bit more gentle and inviting with a bit of flame obviously right so that's the bags and then yay into the cards So let's go. We have Earth Dragon clears your path in the land around you. Air Dragon helps you rise above earthly matters. Fire Dragon. Water Dragon. Earth and Air Dragon. Interesting. Represents a perfect balance of heaven and earth. Earth and Fire Dragon. Earth and Water Dragon. Creates a foundation for new growth. Interesting that they put the combinations. Together. Then we have air and fire dragon expands your creative energies. Air and water dragon. Fire and water dragon. Golden Christed dragon. Wow. Gold and silver violet flame dragon. The colors are beautiful. Transmutes the old around you with wisdom and grace. I love the butterfly. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Lilac fire dragon. Quan Yin's pink dragon. She's a goddess of compassion. Archangel Gabriel's dragon brings purification. Like this one, Rainbow Dragon. Maybe I'll meet him one day. Black Dragon, protection. Emerald Dragon. Silver Dragon, Orange Dragon, Deep Blue Dragon, Crystal Yellow Dragon, Green Dragon, I think I might read this one. Helps you tune into the secrets of nature. Receive answers and guidance from nature. Align with your divine essence. The key. Golden orange dragon with bits of books and <laughs> he's writing. Interesting. Sunshine yellow dragon. Look at that cute little fawn. Sweet. That's a pretty happy one. Royal Blue and Gold Dragon. Magenta Dragon. 
Black Dragon from Saturn. Okay, where was he getting to? Different dimension here. Thor's Red, Black and Gold Dragon. <laughs> if you need a bit of a warrior energy there, I guess. A rose pink check. Beautiful. Beautiful. Aquamarine dragon from Neptune. Hmm. Those are gorgeous colours. A lot of them have keys. Pure white dragon from Orion. That one's gorgeous. Blue dragon from the Pleiades. Green gold dragon from Sirius. A little bit of intergalactic stuff going on here. Silver lunar dragon. Bathes you in divine feminine light. Okay. And the golden solid dragon. Some masculine balancing there. Dusky pink dragon from Andromeda. Orange gold dragon from Arcturus. White gold dragon from Lyra. Golden Atlantean dragon. That one's beautiful. Beautiful. Dark blue galactic dragon. Alpha Dragon and the Amiga Dragon. Oh, wait, no, two more Amiga Dragon and the Source Dragon. He looks pretty wise. Awesome. Let me do a quick shuffle and see if there's a, a message for all of us from the dragons. So we love the colours, they're gorgeous. Card stock is pretty cool. It's um yeah, shuffles nicely, a little bit glossy. Let's see if there's anyone who wants to talk to us today. And then I'll read a bit from the guidebook as well. Oh. Crystal Yellow Dragon opens you to higher learning and wisdom. Expand your crown chakra for illumination. Walk the higher spiritual path. Let me read from the guidebook quickly if I can find him. Crystal Yellow Dragon. They're not numbered, so it's. Oh, there we go. He's part, or she, he or she, is part of the uh, fifth dimensional dragons. yellow dragons clear space around the crown chakra of animals and humans and then illuminate the chakra and set it glowing. This enables the angels and source itself to see us. Each of the thousand petals of our crown chakra can be extended to connect with a particular star, planet or universal energy. However, in order for the petals to reach out, the light around them must be pure. So crystal yellow dragons work rather like fairies who blow away the flow of frequencies around plants so that they can grow free freely. Crystal yellow dragons not only have huge open hearts, but they also carry fifth dimensional wisdom codes for the universe and can download them to those of us who are ready. They work with Archangel Jophiel to light up and expand the crown chakras of all of us at fifth dimensional frequency. They then cooperate with the unicorns to connect the petals into sources of universal wisdom and knowledge. Receiving this card suggests it's time for you to walk a higher spiritual path. Crystal yellow dragons are swirling around your head, feeling, freeing the petals of your crown chakra from lower energy, lower energies, allowing them to open and illuminating them. These dragons remind you that you are a being of the universe. Um, the ultimate is to become a cosmic master, so step onto a diamond path. The crystal yellow dragons will ensure you connect with those who, who are ready to, for the light you carry. When you meet people, your light will automatically light up 
the keys and codes of mastery latent within them. The time for this higher service is now. Yeah, I like this. So it's a little woo maybe for some, but I can take a fair amount of woo. <laughs> and this, the colors are gorgeous. I think the messages seem quite inspiring. So I'm looking forward to using them. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. Bye guys.